get started with. Welcome to Empower Your Pattern 2.0. Empower Your Pattern with James Hendrick. Adversity Educator. Success, Confidence, and Thrive Coach. Member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We will heal teach you with our pattern of success that are ready for anyone to achieve. So if you come, we will join together. Let's fly. Yeah. Hold on, man. I'm on podcasting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw! Hello, everybody. Welcome to Empower Your Pattern. This episode is PE 32. No, PE 23. Without Christ, you lose. And let me tell you something. You lose big. You know, several months ago, I had a dialogue with, you know, um, Technically, she's my in-home provider. She comes, cleans house, uh, prepares meals, but I also consider her a good friend and life consultant. And I was, was talking to her about um, how one of my friends in the past named Jim Bob gave me a final ultimatum in the friendship to turn my back on Christ and walk away and be in leagues with him and the friendship or forever say goodbye. And she was straight up with me. She's like, hey, whoa. Is your friend Jim obviously expecting you to turn your back on Christ to go venture with him? He, he's a loser. You're glad. You better be glad that you got rid of him. Then there is no way that you could have won with what he was doing. And I gave her a general idea of what I'm what I was doing, and well, that's not that's that's one bunny bunny trail. I don't want to hop on. Okay, so. You're probably thinking, well, what what do we do? How about I teach a message on salvation? Now, I know some of you guys, Jimmy, this is a business podcast. Yes, it is a business podcast. But how many times do I have to remind you guys? My faith is a huge part, if not everything that I do. Yesterday, when I talked about shining my light, my light is Christ. Okay? Without Christ, you lose. That's just the nature of things. Let me take you down the scripture road, if you will. I want you to listen to me on this one. Please do. We're going to start with the Gospel of John. Okay, and I don't care how long this podcast will last because I want to drive it home how much we need uh, the Lord. Let's go to John 3.16. Uh, through 18 verse 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because 
she hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Only begotten Son of God, spiritually, Jesus Christ. Formed in a tabernacle of flesh so we can recognize him. Now, let me go a little bit further and talk about what we lose and why. Okay? You know me. I'm going to... Uh, we're going to go into Romans for a little while. Man, Jimmy, you're, you're really... You're trying to dismiss this podcast deal into like a, a, a Bible sermon? Yeah, I'm around really about the way I am. Yes, okay, this is a business podcast. But guys, come on. Any of you know, you listen to me. You know that my faith is a part of everything I do. And by everything, I mean everything. Romans chapter 3. We're going to go down to verse 23, I believe. Hope you're ready for this. I think. Let me make sure. Ah, I went wrong. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, technology is not cooperating with me very well today. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and quote this verse to save time. Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned. All have sinned. Okay. Romans 6.23 Listen to this. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. <clears throat> the Bible says it clear. What are the wages of sin? Death. Adam and Eve brought physical death. And, to some degree, spiritual death. But we're not to be punished for Adam and Eve's transgressors. Now, we need to go back into the book of John, verse 36. It says, this is Jesus again. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life and he that believeth not the son shall not see life but the wrath of God abideth on him <clears throat> what does that mean whether in this life which it would be easier and better to acknowledge Christ in this life, or in the end, you're going to be forced to acknowledge him. Okay? Do you want to be saved in his kingdom? No more heartaches. No more worries when you pass on to the other side of the veil. Or do you want to be in the out of darkness turning? Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Man, Jimmy, I didn't know you'd be, to be this much of a preacher. You should have heard me when I was 12 years old. I'm serious. My grandparents, they got me a little podium and tape recorder. And I would just start preaching and preaching and preaching and preaching and preaching. And my grandmother, she turned to me and she said, 
she turned she turned to the family and she said, that's going to be my little preacher. Years later, back in 2011, I went to see um, some family and everything. And of course, I brought my Bible. And Mama was talking to my uncle was the same age as I was. And he said, she said, uh, my uncle said, he carries that Bible everywhere he goes. And Mama says, you know, Mama said he was going to be our little preacher. She said, in some ways, he's right. I said, I'm, I'm a priest. I still preach the word. I'm a priest, but I still see, I still preach the word. All right. Think about it. With, with, without Christ, you lose. You can't succeed. How can you expect to succeed in life? Without having the leading pattern, which is knowing Jesus Christ. If you don't know Jesus Christ, then you lose. So I want you. I'm gonna. I mean, I I know I'm a Latter Day Saint. I don't normally do invitations. But today's the day for such an invitation. Wherever you are, if you can safely do this, I want you to say this prayer with me. Hey, my Father, I believe that Jesus died on my... I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross. I believe that three days later he rose from the grave. Come into my life and change me. In the name of Jesus, amen. Once you say that prayer, you're saved. Now, that doesn't mean that you're saved forever. You still have to walk in Christ's footsteps. You still have to live His commandments. By saying that prayer, you begin a personal relationship with me. Now, I'm also going to invite you, if you're willing. Of course, if 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 if, if you don't fill up to it, fine. You know, there's other churches where you can get water baptism. But if you're willing to join in a true covenant relationship with Jesus Christ. As a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we have the waters, we have the covenant waters of baptism under prop, under priesthood authority. Now, with that, you, you didn't think I was going to get back in the priest in the world, huh? Well, guess what? You're stuck with me doing that. Romans chapter 3. We're going to do 3 to 5. This is Jesus speaking to Nicodemus, who came by night out of fear of the, uh, of the Jews and the rest of the Sanhedrin. Jesus said and answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born and be born? Jesus answereth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, 
he cannot receive. He cannot enter the kingdom of God. Baptism and the receipt of the Holy Ghost. And there you go. But without Christ, you lose. You don't want to enter internal dam damnation. Dad, I hope you enjoy listening. Please subscribe and become a part of Heaven Realm. Until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others won't. And do what others won't so you can have what others can't. Please share this with Mama Son, Papa Son, and everyone. This is Jimi Hendrix. Until next time, choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless you this on this. And remember this from the bottom of my heart. Jimmy loves you. I really love you. God bless you, and have a blessed day.